owners are coming up with some pretty creative ways to try to save in this recession. In California, lease swaps are becoming more and more popular. There's a website, in fact, called leasetrader.com that allows owners to trade their car lease online. The company says they traded more than 40,000 leases last year alone. Usually you have to put in uh, anywhere from four to eight thousand um, dollars down to even get the lease in the first place. Well, I've run my credit since. It is completely off. It's a paid lease. It's done. Experts say the site works because buyers are much more flexible during a recession. Now, maybe you're still too worried about the economy to try to make the jump and buy a new vehicle. Well, Lauren Fix is a nationally recognized auto expert known as the car coach. She is in New York City, where the New York Auto Show is underway. And Lauren joins us now live. Lauren, nice to see you. Good to see you, too. I'm curious it's a right now. out here, but we got some great cars. Well, looking forward to learning more about them. And first and foremost, what are people most interested in right now? And are they going to get the deals on what they really want? Well, it's funny. I mean, the, the U.S. government thinks that we all want electric cars, but the truth is we want cars that, that fit our needs and what that might not be a hybrid if you live in the bulk of the country. If you live here in New York, it makes sense to have a vehicle like that, but if you live in uh, Omaha or Buffalo or St. Louis, it, it may not be the right choice for you. So that's why I brought some alternative vehicles that you can choose from, showing you that not just the Europeans, but the domestic manufacturers are starting to figure it out and bring cars that you want. All right, well, for let's example, start with the, the white car. car is, yeah, that, that's the higher end the, of the one you're going to show an, us. This is an Audi, right, this is an Audi Q7. It is an alternative to what we think of when we think of hybrid. It is diesel. Now, a turbo diesel injected is something that is now available in all 50 states. It's something that consumers are wanting because hybrid vehicles, you can't tow anything. However, with a turbo diesel, you can tow anything. No more, you know, black, sooty, icky, loud cars. These vehicles get a phenomenal fuel economy. You'll actually save money on your budget with gasoline. Even though the cost of the car is a little bit more, you'll save it in the big picture. What's that bright car behind you? That caught my oh, attention. this car is great. This is a Ford Fiesta, and Ford Ford will be bringing this vehicle to our country. It's a world-class platform. It will replace the Focus. This car gets about 30 miles to the gallon, possibly more, once the actual production vehicle comes into place. What's also nice about the Ford Fiesta is it's going to be between thirteen and sixteen thousand dollars. An amazing car to drive. A lot of fun. If you drove an old Ford Fiesta back in the 80s, like I had one, this is an awesome car. I drove it yesterday. Really fun. Low sticker price, and also a car like that. That you could park in a big city. Yes, yes, and exactly. And the other thing is, for those of us who don't live in the big city, and I live in Buffalo, we don't have the big city, but I love fun cars to drive. General Motors has the Camaro. Now, we remember the Camaro from a while ago. They took it off the market. It is finally back. It really has some nice lines, like the old 69 Camaros. It picks up some nice Q lines. But great thing is, 26 miles to the gallon. It's around $26,000 available in a six-cylinder and a V8. This has just been launched. You should be seeing these at your dealership. General Motors will do very well with this. They already have a back order on the Camaro, so that'll tell you people do want to buy American cars. They build safe cars, and they build smart cars that people want. Let me ask you about that. For people that are concerned about buying a car from a troubled automaker, should they be worried about getting parts down the road or about getting a car from a company that could potentially go bankrupt or file for bankruptcy? Right. Well, the bankruptcy is not a, a dissolving. First off, Ford is, is actually doing better of all the three U.S. manufacturers, and there's zero concern there. General Motors and Chrysler, GM is paring down their brand lines. They are have to keep product for 10 years. The government claims they're going to back the warranty. As I have said, well, I hope I don't have to wait 90 to 120 days to get my money like I do on everything else with the government. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's going to be backing when it comes to the warranties with Chrysler as well. Uh, they also came out showing the new Jeep Grand Cherokee. So there's a lot of vehicles coming out. If they wouldn't be building prototypes and production cars if they thought they were going to go out of business. So worst case scenario is the companies dissolve and return back to us as better, stronger companies. Lauren, I want to bring in my colleague Josh Loves. He's been talking to our viewers, and I know he has some questions from viewers right now. Yeah, a lot of interest. Okay. Hear me out there, right? You got me? Lauren? I can barely hear okay, you. Okay, she can hear me. I right, can so, barely hear you. Okay, a lot, let me just try to project it here. We're getting a, a great question from one of our viewers who, who is asking us this very simple question. Is it possible to refinance an auto loan? Give us the basic 101 on financing and refinancing for cars. 
Okay, I, first of all, if you own a car and, you act, and you're not leasing it, you can refinance it, but you have to be careful that you don't finance more than the value of the vehicle. That's how we got in trouble to begin with. People had vehicles that were upside down, which means you owed more on that vehicle than it was worth. And the worst thing you can do is refinance something you already owe more than the car is worth. In that case, sometimes it's better to sell the car. You may have to figure out other ways to do that, sell the car and find something that's more within your budget. If you have a lease, you cannot refinance it. You have to keep that lease. To get out of a lease is very expensive, and one of the things you definitely want to do is try to sell that lease off because it'll never be to your advantage. And let me give you a follow-up. That also is a question we got on, on Facebook. Maybe there's a way to say this. If you have a car loan right now, you still owe several thousand dollars, but you're really interested in one of the deals out there should you wait to pay off your loan first or should you just go buy the new car right now and then pay it off steadily after that that's an excellent question i have had a lot of people ask me that it depends where you are in the loan if you own that vehicle for three years and maybe you've got two more years to go you're right in that window that makes sense to look for another vehicle if you just bought the car 16 months ago and you're thinking it, it now is the time to do it it is not you will get hurt very badly when it comes to selling that car or trading it in Certain cars have more value. If you've got something that's smaller, like a Ford Fusion or something like that, you'll be okay on trading it in. If you're trying to trade in an SUV or a truck, the dealers don't want them either unless they're diesel powered. So it's something you have to keep in mind when you're looking to uh, refinance or to purchase a new vehicle. There are some phenomenal deals up to $4,000 off on some of the vehicles that are out there. So make sure to do your homework right. on the internet. Well, thanks to Lila and David for those questions. And Lauren, thanks for the great advice. Great stuff, Melissa. I'm Lauren, sorry. thank you so much. And Lauren Fix again, the car coach. She hails from Buffalo, New York. Fellow Buffalo girl, nice to see you in the streets of New York. Lauren, thanks so much for your great advice. Appreciate it. Thank you.